you must be feeling some of the things I'm feeling right now. Anger, upset, disappointment, betrayal, let down, lack of hope. I can't even start the game. It makes me mad just to see it. You feel me? 40 minutes, zero seconds of Animal Crossing, the biggest, best selling Switch game. All right, I'll do it because we got to talk about it. Smash that like button if you were let down today. I, I can hear some of your voices. I can hear some of you just so bummed. What am I supposed to do now? Redo the island again? I thought this was it. I can hear you and I feel so sad with you. I feel so sad with you. Guys and girls, we need to talk. It is so freaking fitting that it's raining on my island because it's raining in all of our hearts. This was our big moment. This was our chance to do our dance at the E3 Nintendo Direct. And Nintendo said, we don't care about you. Smash that like button if you were let down. Let me know in the comments down below how bummed you were that Nintendo decided to abandon the 35 million people that have shown this game love, that have shown this game support, and they said, you aren't worth our time. They said, you aren't worth DLC. And they might be saying, you aren't worth anything. But guys and girls, there's always a silver lining. There's always hope. And I'm here to cry with you, feel with you, but I'm here to offer a little bit of hope. All right, I know that was the biggest bummer we ever did see. I mean, you've been playing this game like professionals. You've been playing this like it's your job. In my case, it is my job. And I was so thinking that they would notice how many players they had and they would say, oh my gosh, we have this huge community. Everybody's eager, everybody wants it. I, you know, at this point, I didn't even care what it was. Brewster, Katrina, Zelda crossover, you pick Nintendo, Cap'n, Tortimer, you pick Nintendo, and they said nothing. It was kind of disgusting. Like, I could feel the vomit in my throat a little bit, and I can't even imagine what some of you are feeling. For some of you, this is your only game. For some of you, this is your only reason you got the Switch. And they're like, no. What are they thinking? How do you have a game that has 35 million players that play it every day, that love it, that post about it, that dress up for it, that order products, right? That design paths, that show it to their friends, their family, their moms, their grandmas, their grandsons, their cats, their dogs, and you do nothing. You tell them two to three years of updates and then you forget that you said that. It's a betrayal on a level I haven't seen. What other game does this darn amazing? And then they say, mm, Forget about it. We done. We don't care. Look at games like Fortnite and Apex Legends, Grand Theft Auto. These games get countless updates consistently because they know the player base is eager. They know the player base is pumped. And we were pumped. We were hopeful. But how many of you are just done at this point? How many of you think it's over? I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you felt that way. And you know what? It's okay. You can feel that way. I think that's justified. You can be upset. You can be sad. You can be disappointed. Here is what I'll say, though. I no longer know if Nintendo knows what they're doing with this game. I no longer know if Nintendo knows why this franchise is successful, what's important about it, and why we love it. But I do believe that we will get more for the game. And I want you to remember that Animal Crossing has operated on its own timeline. I talked about this before E3, and like, look, I'll be honest with you, I got swindled up in the hype, and other people's hype, and the, 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 the logic of Nintendo bringing it, but remember, before E3 I did say that they probably would operate on their own timeline. They have utilized Twitter and their own stealth trailer drops since the beginning. One time! It was in a direct, and it was because of Mario. It wasn't because of Animal Crossing. It was because of the Mario 35th anniversary collaboration. That's why it showed up in the Nintendo Direct. Nintendo and Isabel have always used that Twitter account to reveal updates. Now, maybe Nintendo isn't going to do a big DLC. Maybe they aren't going to do paid content. Maybe they're never going to bring us the cafe that we crave. But they could bring another substantial update. And I still 
think that they will in some capacity. Will it be what we want? I don't know. Will it be as big as we're hoping? Probably not. But there still is time and there still is an entire summer. And E3 is usually about selling big products, right? If you don't have a product to sell because maybe they don't want to go the DLC route, look at it this way. Maybe they want you to just have it for free. And maybe that the fact that it wasn't here means it's not going to cost anything. Maybe it means it's going to be a free update and it's going to come in the summer and they just want to announce it at their regular cadence. What is the Animal Crossing New Horizons cadence? You know it. They announce the update, they show the trailer, and then it's out in two days or four days or six days. They don't announce it and it's out in four weeks, six weeks. 22 days. I think if there's an update, it's going to come in July to celebrate the fireworks and to really usher in the summer. Heck, it could come this Friday. We do not know. And I'm not going to try and predict an exact date because Nintendo, like, they did shock me. I cannot believe they don't seem to care about this community. But I don't think that they're liars when they say that they're bringing consistent updates for two to three years. I think we'll still get them. I think it's been a real... You know the words I'm thinking of. It's been a real show lately. It's been a real some kind of show. And it hasn't been the kind that we're excited about. <sighs> Today was hard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry they didn't have the fun thing that you were all hopeful for. I'm sorry they didn't have the fun thing that you all wanted. But if I look to the horizon, I still see more updates in the future. I still see holidays getting modified. I still see items dropping in. I still see timed events being a part of their plans and if nintendo was to drop amiibo cards a zelda collaboration some sort of update that isn't paid today probably wasn't the day it probably would just pop up on twitter they have abandoned trailers they've gone all blog posts i don't know if those will ever return frankly i don't know what is going to happen next but i do have some hope they can't possibly be this silly right they can't possibly be this clueless right they seem like it today, but I should have stuck with my original prediction that they don't operate on the same timeline and the same way as the traditional games for Nintendo Directs. They do it Twitter style. They do it direct to the fans. They do it straight to our faces from Isabel to you and me. And I will be there when it happens, and I will cover it with you. I know you've trusted me a lot on Sanrio, on many things, Mario plus Rabbids. I ask you to hashtag trust switch force one more time. There will be another update. It seems like the end. It seems like it's over, but I think there is still light and life in this game yet. It's going to take a while to get over the fact that they spent time on Mario Golf and these games we already knew about and they gave no shine to AC. They didn't even say thanks. They didn't even say our game did amazing. They didn't even say... Wow, how many people have built amazing islands? They didn't even give us a crossover or an amiibo. They gave us nothing, and that is going to sting for a bit. But if they do bring an update and you don't have to pay for it, will you be that mad after all? Now again, let me know your take in the comments down below. I want to hear from you. Get it out there. You can vent. Hit that like button if you were let down today. We will persevere, though, my friends. And I think we'll be back, and I think it will be okay. Maybe not as great as I hoped and you hoped, but... You know, there still could be a rainbow at the end of this long journey. And that's what we'll wait for. So until that time, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of Switch Force. The AC content will not stop. I will not give up on this game. I will not, even though it feels like it, even though it feels like it's over. This isn't the last Animal Crossing video on this channel. And I'm pretty sure this isn't the last time we've played something new in ACNH together either. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. I'm sorry again about today. Until next time, that was a rough one. Switch Force, out.